Hi everyone, my name is Gigi. I'm the artsy housewife on Instagram, BossTube, Etsy, wherever. Um, and uh, this is my floss tube number four, January 3rd, 2024. Uh, it's been a super long time since floss tube number three. Uh, so this is um, awkward. So, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dive in. Um, some things that uh, I've been up to, um, just designing a lot of new stuff, um, making a lot of mistakes and learning from them. Cut my hair, hair scissors in my, in my bathroom, but I like it. And uh, painted the kitchen pink, it was yellow before. An unattractive yellow is now pink. Uh, and I love that too. Um, Oh, and the other thing that is really notable, I think, is that uh, I, I put up my first pattern for sale one year ago, January 6th. So January 6th, 2023. So I'm coming up on a one year anniversary of um, pattern making and selling. And so um, I'm going to put, I'm going to just do a, a store wide sale, 25 percent off everything in my store, um, the fifth through the seventh. So, um, which I'm not exactly sure what, I think this will upload on, the, on the fourth. So, um, hopefully you get to see this in time to take advantage of that sale, the one year anniversary sale. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to just start off with finishes. My finishes, that I have to show you are all my own designs because that's all I've done the last year, um, which is wonderful. But you'll see that my plans um, are, include other people's beautiful, beautiful creations too. I need to, um, I need to, you know, take in creativity from other places too. I can't just be in my own silo uh, of um, design because that gets stagnant and um, and less fun. So anyways, I'll show you some stuff that I've done. I'm going to try not to knock over my microphone stand. This is my microphone stand. And um, it's a little wobbly, but it was just the right height so that I could clip my microphone to it. Um, but I, I have a feeling I'm going to knock it over. So I'm going to try not to. So my first uh, couple of finishes here I'm going to show you are just um, some that you may have seen. They've been out for a little while. This one is, this one's Una. And these are just what I have available to show you. A lot of my stuff is kind of put away and hard to get to. So I'm not pulling them out right now. But um, uh, this was about, these were available to, to show you uh, Una. So she's um, stitch on 40 count. Um, oh, I forgot the name of that. And I didn't write it on the back. Well, anyways, um, if you like it, it's on the pattern. <laughs> um, already off to a stellar, stellar organizational start. This is Pretty Bird. And Pretty Bird, okay, what you'll also see in this little, this little parade is um, a um, progression of framing. Um, in the beginning, m my husband was attempting to make frames from scratch. Oh, none of these actually are those. From scratch from um, trim from the hardware store, and he was making from scratch um, frames. And mm, so then we moved on to finding antique frames, um, which he could resize and, and he got really good at that. Um, this is one of the more, 
uh, recent. So yeah, just all lines up. It's great. Um, and I love, I didn't refinish anything about it because I love how old and nicked it is. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I just, I love it. And I thought it really fit with the style of Pretty Bird, which is sort of a eclectic bohemian. Been, been around, I don't know, you know, I don't know. Just, it just looked like a fit. Um, now, what we've moved on to most recently is just uh, buying frames off of Etsy um, to the size requirements that we need. And then we pop it in um, ourselves because the time that it took um, it was a little bit substantial. And, it, and because of the way that when I, um, I do, I do my patterns in batches. And so it's, it's like all of a sudden there's, there's eight pieces that need um, frames um, was a little bit cumbersome. Whereas if it was like one at a time, it would be such, but anyways, this is a purchased one off of Etsy and it does have, oh, ah, yeah, I don't know. I have a lot of windows. It does have, um, glass on it, obviously, <laughs> because I keep this one in my kitchen and it just seems, I just, I don't know. I'm messy and there's splatters on my ceiling. So I, I have it protected uh, behind glass. Normally I, I don't really bother with the glass. I don't want to knock the um, camera stand, but if it's going to, if I know it's going to be in the kitchen, it, um, it's just, it's going to, um, the longevity will be greater um, with glass. Um, what else? Oh, these are not framed. And these are actually my most recent um, releases. They came out, I should have written, wrote it, wrote, written, wrote, wrote it down. I don't remember. I want to say it was, I want to say it was like either end of October or beginning of November. But at any rate, um, this one is pretty bird. Oh, I should have grabbed something to put behind it, but that's okay. Uh, these are not framed yet because I've ordered frames and I want to wait to get them and make sure that I cut the, the backing to be exactly right. I've had to repin things that were just, you know, just so, just so little, <laughs> almost, almost fit, but almost doesn't fit. It didn't fit. And I had to take it all out and recut. So I'm just gonna um, wait. But um, Pretty Bird is uh, a cousin of a Lovely Dove. This one's lovely dove. <laughs> this one's lovely dove. Have I said pretty bird the whole time? This one's lovely dove. And the other one is pretty bird that uh, I showed you. And they're cousins. They're, they're, they're related. They aren't necessarily a, you know, um, series, but uh, they do, they are as very close to the same size and dimensions. And obviously, Pretty Bird, Lovely Dove, got a theme going there. This one is Christmas Chicken. And um, uh, I love this one. I love this one. I don't know. I, it's super funky. And I don't, I, I don't expect it. Again, I don't expect it's everyone's cup of tea. Um, but... Uh, but I love it and I design, um, I design for other people, but when I sit down in front of the computer, it's just about what I want to see, what I want to see in the world. It's really what it is. And I know that I'm not a unicorn. So if I want to see it, there's somebody else who wants to see it too. So that's, that's what I make. This one 
is, this one might be a little see-through, but um, um, study in nature, trying to fold so that you can't see through it. Uh, study in nature, it's on Aztec red. I feel like it's, um, the colors aren't, like I feel like it, the, the fabric looks pink in the camera. And it's not, it's, it's Aztec red. So if you, you probably are familiar with it, it's more of a, almost a brick. So I don't know, the colors seem a little off, but, um, and it's uh, all done with dinky dye silks. But I will say that uh, there's someone on Instagram, I shared it on my Instagram page, uh, a picture that someone uploaded uh, to their page that um, they had done it in the, called for conversion though I, I do I provide a conversion a DMC conversion for all of my patterns and they did it in the DMC conversion and um, it was really nice it was really beautiful really beautiful um, I was impressed so anyhow um, okay that's gonna be it for that. The next thing I have, um, so I hadn't stitched on anything um, other than my own stuff. And the thing about stitching on, on your own designs is that it's constantly with a critical eye. So the, the relaxation component is missing. It's fun, um, but it's, uh, it's just, it's work the whole time. So, you know, anyways, um, I decided to participate quietly. I, cause I wasn't really sure I was going to participate at all. I, I, I was like, I don't know. seems like a lot of work, but I participated in the 12 by 12, um, working on the 12 by 12, uh, new year's Eve Instagram thing where, uh, from noon until midnight, uh, every hour you work on a different, um, you can either start a new, like you could start 12 new patterns, 12 new charts, designs, um, or you can work on 12 whips or half and half, which I kind of did a half and half. I did two new starts and then 10, 10 whips. I pulled out 10 whips. None of them had gotten anything in uh, close to a year. I mean, close to a year. And so um, it was super nice to pull things out that I sort of forgot about. And um, now I'm really excited to work on them. And so um, I'm gonna show you just ones I worked on because um, they will have progress. <laughs> something to show you. Uh, and what I've also done is I've organized them. I love to make plans. I don't love to follow plans. So I made a plan. I don't, I can't guarantee this will go past February, but I've organized these um, whips to be, to have focus, to have either one or two focus pieces every month, January, February, March, one or two. And um, so that's how I'm going to show them to you. Uh, now <laughs> we start with January <laughs> and these are my plans. And if you are stitching any of these, um, let me know and maybe we can stitch together. Most of these are unzipped, not all. Sorry. That was, in fact, that was right in front of the microphone. So if you are sensitive to that, my apologies. My apologies. Okay. So this is January. I'm going to have to move my microphone. I need, I need space. Okay. 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 So I started, this is, uh, my two new starts. My two new starts are both in the same bags. I'm going to work on them both in January. Super excited about them. One of them has a ton of work done on them because I've been working on it because I've been working on it um, the last three days um, every night. And then one of them uh, is this one. One of them is this one. It is by, um, it's a freebie from Modern Folk Embroidery. Oh, well, let me show you what it's supposed to look like first. <laughs> Otherwise it's gonna mean nothing to you. 
um, light a single candle would be what it's called. Little freebies. It's going to be a quick stitch. Uh, this is going to be done by Jan the end of January. Um, and here's my start. Okay, I'm going to get closer. Yeah, because it's really small. Uh, this is on... This is on 40 count seaweed by Fox and Rabbit. And I'm using um, this silk, um, Victoria Clayton silk. I'm going to find the name on it. Okay. Check it out. I'm keep, I don't know if that's, I don't know how you're supposed to keep these, but I just wrapped the thread around it. But it's, um, it's this really pretty golden yellow color. I don't know if it's focusing, but it doesn't need to. You got the color. You got the color just. That's all one color, so I'm just using that. And then other new start and January focus. Um, oh, that's the pattern. Where's the cover? Where's the cover? There it is. It's the bottom. Uh, Throw Wide the Windows by Shakespeare's Peddler. Oh, that is glary. I can. Okay. Uh, I've had this in my stash for a good long while, so now I'm going to stitch it. And um, I'll show you where I'm at. There's the. Big old mess of, big old mess of, um, okay, actually, this isn't entirely true. <laughs> these are the called for, uh, DMC conversions. It has a DMC conversion listed. So these are, these are the called for. I know I haven't even shown you my progress. Way not doing it right. But my, okay, in my opinion, it, um, this felt like a lot of the same. I mean, they are, when you go all the way across, they are different. But I wanted, maybe, I, I added these two in, these two DMCs, um, to get a high and a low, um, if I felt like it as I was stitching. Because I feel like this top border could be that dark gray color. and be really pretty. Okay, here's where I'm at. Oh, and I'm stitching it, did I tell you? I'm stitching it on... 36 count ale, a picture of this plus. And kind of hard to see because that green does not show up the best. But it, this will be filled in. Um, and then when it comes to these flower stems, right, these flower stems right here, which you can't, they, they, they mailed it. Even in this, they kind of, they, they fall back. They don't, they're not real prominent. But if I'm unhappy with it, I'll just grab a slightly darker green in the same family. And, and I'll just stitch with that. But I don't know. This is fun. I like this one. And it's so, it's going to be really, I didn't really realize this. I didn't really realize this. But there's a lot of negative space being used in this pattern. Um, in between the bricks, there's no mortar. Mortar? Is that called mortar? I think so. I don't know. Uh, it's just the fabric coming through. Inside the windows, no color. No color inside the windows. No, no, nothing. So that's just the fabric coming through. In between the shingles, just fabric coming through. So I feel like this is going to be a way quicker stitch than a house normally is. I really like stitching houses. But this one I think is going to fly by. So I don't know if I'm really on it. I might have two finishes at the end of January. They aren't even mine. <sighs> That's going to be nice. Refreshing. I think I'm going to throw it on the floor. Okay. The next one. This one's for February. February focus. The one that I stitched on for New Year's Eve. I'll get the cover out. Oh, so much rustling. Sorry, I didn't, I, maybe the microphone right here on my table is not a great idea. We'll find out. 
Hey, DGR's Red Deer. Red Deer, is it called Red Deer Sampler? Yep, the Red Deer Sampler. And I started this. This was my New Year's Eve start. I just I just started one. I didn't do the 12 by 12. I started this and I've worked on it a little bit here and there um, throughout the year, but really, really just the first couple months of the year. And then I did pull it out. New Year's Eve. So here's where I'm at. And I did, I made my own uh, DMC conversion. So these are all DMCs that are uh, meant to be um, similar to what's called for. Tried to keep it true to what it was supposed to be. And here's all the colors. It's just a rainbow. So that's just the red deer I'm gonna work on in February. I'm not a fast stitcher. Um, I'm not a fat, I'm hoping I'm, I'm not shaking the camera every time I do that. Hmm. I'm not a fast stitcher. I'm not even like the neatest, although I, I'm getting better. I'm getting better and better at being neat. Um, I'm always so, I'm antsy. I'm antsy. I always want to um, see it. I want to get it finished. And I want to see it. So like a stitch in hand sewing method. Um, because that just feels, it, it just, well, you get two stitches for, you know, for one <laughs> faster, faster, gotta get it done, but it doesn't lay as nice. And I say that, I know there's probably going to be a, a, a sew in hand person out there. Um, don't take offense, um, because it's probably like dead gorgeous, uh, your stitching. Um, but not mine. I it's not, it's, I mean, it's okay. But like I said, it's getting better. Hang on. Pinot Grigio. Okay. This is going to be my March. Um, my March focus and, and I have a new start I'm going to do in March. I've got a, I've got new starts kind of thrown in in different places. Um, because I like to stitch in season. Um, I like to, but um, I don't, well, yeah, so I, so I put them in um, periodically where it, I felt like it would fit as a new start, um, you know, put in something that's fall in, uh, in September, <laughs> in September, something like that, you know, but, um, Rules, schmools. Uh, no, that's the new start. Hang on a second. I want to show you what I worked on first. This one is uh, Be Not a Dunce by Mama Loves You GB. And I'm looking for the cover page. Oh, that's right. That's right. I didn't get the cover page when I downloaded it for some reason. But this does show This does show the, um, the big one is the antique, the original antique. And then the little one is reproduction and I'm stitching it this one I think is super fun I'm stitching it one over one which I would I've always hated on any kind of linen um, but this is not a linen it's an even weave actually what is it it's a 28 count wheat Lugana um, and it makes it so it's so easy it's really quite easy I, this I can do and it's really cute and look at that it's super cute it's pretty small not you know not minuscule but it's pretty small and i am using what might be my favorite floss color and floss. just this is my favorite i just want to do everything in this floss it's um the thread gatherer silk thread gatherer silk and colors mississippi mud I think that's so, so pretty. I love every color that's in that floss. So um, I worked on that a little bit. I'm gonna work on that again. 
And then the new start I'm going to pull out in March is, I'm not going to pull this out of the plastic. It's loud and annoying, but this is uh, spring at Hollyberry Farms. Oh, should I pull it out? No. Oh, there you go. Super pretty. Uh, I, I started and worked, you'll see it's in here somewhere. I started um, Christmas at Hollyberry Farms, December 1st, and um, really wanted to finish it in December. I thought I'm just going to focus just on this and um, yeah, it'll be done, it'll be done. But I couldn't just focus just on that because uh, my husband took me on an early Christmas present uh, to I don't remember the name of the town. It's a small town just north of Houston where they have a yarn store. I haven't been in a yarn store that's not a Hobby Lobby in many years. Um, we live in a small, small town in Deep East Texas, and we don't have needle workshops. We just don't have any of them. Uh, we don't have yarn stores. We have a Hobby Lobby ball. But uh, it was very exciting um, because I love to knit, but um, I've kind of put that away as I was, um, well, before cross-stitch designing, I was doing oil paintings. And um, so I was really focused on oil paintings. And then now I've been really focused on cross-stitch design and I missed uh, knitting. So um I just realized what a tangent this is. I'm sorry. <laughs> but so I have a knitting project that I've been working on in December. Um, I'll show that to you later at the end. Uh, and that took about half of my December, so I never got Hollyberry Farms finished. That was a huge tangent. This is going to go with Hollyberry Farms. This is going to be, this is, this will be a companion. This is spring. Spring at Hollyberry, spring at Hollyberry Farms. Okay, that's a tight fit in this bag. That'll do. Next, that was March. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and keep track of these dates or these months. I have a feeling by by July, I may have lost it. I'm gonna make a little mark here. That was March. We're on to April. Okay, April. I want to work on this. This pattern. Now, this one was a funny one. I, I didn't. I don't know when I started this, because I just found it. I just found it in um, a pile of not not stitch patterns. Like just they were just charts that were for later, and it, it was partially stitched on. I don't know when I started it, but now I'm going to continue it. It's Land of the Free, um, by Willow. Yep, Willow Hill samplings. And um, I don't know what I'm stitching it on. Because I just, I'm, I'm going to guess. Hmm, no, I'm not going to guess. I'm not even going to guess. It's probably a picture of this plus, I would say. But, and it's a, it's a scrap. It's like the bottom scrap of something. Um, should be, should work. Should fit the whole thing, fine. Um, I did decide I'm gonna go up and down, not straight across with the row of houses. I wanna make sure it does fit top to bottom before I go side to side, because it'll obviously fit side to side. Just wanna be sure the top and the bottom will fit. I'm gonna work on that um, in uh, April, in April. And that's all I've got for you. In a month, I should get really good progress, right? Hey, that was April, May. I'm gonna work on this. Uh, AL Motif Sampler by Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, the bottom corner there is the uh, original old, um, it, the antique, and you can see a lot of it's missing. And then um, she went ahead and filled in 
what was missing with motifs that would that just that would fit and um, i'm going to go ahead and do the filled in version of it and i'm doing it on i think it's 30 count is it 30 or 32 32 count i wanted something a little bigger because i i did um when i started this uh, i started it as because i wanted to travel with it i didn't i didn't actually travel with it my eyes aren't great so also looks like i'm going to need to do a little cleanup for 12 by 12 the reason i put this away and didn't pick it up again forever and ever is because i had stitched a motif wrong way way wrong wrong place motif was good wrong place it was super high um <laughs> off the chart so i had to take it out and that's all i did for that hour i just took out a giant motif so you can kind of i think you can kind of see can you it's right right here some blue that's just left but this is just where i've gotten so far and i'm changing out the um it has some initials and some numbers just around it. Well, AL, it has AL over and over again because it is the AL sampler. It has AL over and over again in here. And um, so I'm going to switch those out for uh, initials of people that mean something to me. So I put ML in there for my son, ML, MR. And then um, I'll put others in there too. Okay, so that's that's May. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna look at June. Um, let's find the cover. Hmm, I started this one a long time ago, and I've done nothing on it. And it's it's funny. It's because I think this one is the one that's on thirty count. And I got, yeah, 30 count cocoa by weeks. And I just, um, the 28 and the 30 counts were um, really uninteresting when I started getting into 40 count um, for a while there. And so I just wasn't that interested in stitching on it. But, uh, okay, so I stitched on 40 count for a good long while. And now I go back to these larger, stitches you know and I, they're charming i find them charming and they're sort of they're chunky they're more they're more bold they're like a thick like you used a really thick marker you know and i like them so you know i'm, I'm glad i put it away for a little while and came back to it because now i really appreciate it the pattern is not forgotten farm uh feeding the bees And where I am so far, using DMCs, which is called for. Wait, is it all called for? Yeah, called for DMCs. It's supposed to be on parchment. I'm doing it on cocoa. Pardon the of where I am so far. But yeah, no, I guess it's one hour on New Year's Eve didn't didn't provide a lot to see, but, but I really, I just, I don't know. I like it. I think it's precious. I really like it. Okay. <clears throat> Next up. Oh, my, I think in my last floss, floss tube, I said I was going to finish this this year. And then I don't think I picked it up one more time. I really do want to finish it. So, so it's going to get some, oh, I should write that down. Sorry. July. Okay. It's going to get love. Um, this year, Land That I Love, Teresa Kogan. Yeah. And I am stitching it on Grandpa's sleeve, 40 count. Using the called for flosses. And there's, there's where I am. 
it's not it's it's not much farther than the last time you saw it but it's you know and probably been a while since the last time you saw it so there you go uh yeah i like it and i do have a place for it on my wall i'd like to get it i'd like to get it finished i'm very motivated i'm very motivated will it be this year will it be this july mm. I don't know. Probably not. It's kind of big. It's kind of big. It's kind of imposing. So. Okay. This is for my August focus. Nope. Oop. It's not. It's not it. Here it is. My August focus. Okay, I started this uh, many years ago. Well, by many, I mean I haven't been stitching that long. <sighs> started. I started in twenty. I started in twenty nineteen. I've probably started this in twenty nineteen. Um, my big toe. Uh, a woman of mm, 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 a woman of noble character. Proverbs thirty one. And I know. That glare, but you know, you probably, you may have seen it or you can look it up. You can see a better picture than that. <laughs> How rude. Uh, I really like stitching um, letters, mm -hmm. words, you know, not uh, words. Alphabets are a little boring, but I like stitching words. So this is right up my alley because it's just a million words, so many words. Long. And um, last time I showed you this, forever ago, I was uh, complaining, and, and um, I was just complaining that I, um, but then my stitch, my, I, my words, my, okay, now I'll just show you. My stitching of the words were like up and down, up and down. They don't follow a line. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not specifically, specifically. Take the of as a, a oh, that, that thread's probably annoying to look at. Just as an example, that of, what in the world? But funny thing, I thought, okay, I'm gonna pull this out for New Year's Eve because I'm gonna pull out all of the words that are wonky and I'll put them in straight. And that will just be, or I'll just take them out. That's all I get, you know, all I can do in an hour. I'll just pull out everything that isn't straight. I pulled it out and I, again, I'm gonna use this word and it, maybe that, maybe this is, maybe this is weird to say. I find it charming now that it's, that it is so wonky because this is my first year stitching. And um, the mistakes are just, they're just character. They're just part of the character. And I love that. And I'm not done making mistakes. Oh my goodness. There will be more mistakes as I go down. Um, but the fact that this was truly, this must have been 2019 when I started this. It, it could have been, it could have been 2020, but like, beginning of stitching and here you know i'm going to work on it um many years later two years three years what is it four years five years <laughs> oh, gosh. time flies um i i like the character of it so i'm not pulling them out that's that's the moral of that story i'm not pulling them out i like it i like it love it and i'm not going to change it uh, the other thing I'm going to do is, nope, pattern. I'm going to have a new start. No, I'm not going to have a new start that month. Nope, that's it. That's all I'm going to do in August. Yeah, that's right. Okay, moving on to September. September, now this I should finish in September because right? September. Oh, yeah. I also have a new start. 
don't know. Maybe I'll finish it. Maybe I won't. But I've got get the right one over here. Um, is a this pin drum? Oh, I started this in September two years ago. Uh, because last year I didn't do anything. Let me find a picture of it though, not just the pattern. There it is. There it is. Kathy Barrick. Uh, it's called Autumn Pin Drum. And there it is. And it's it's really fun. Um, I started it on a whim. Just needed I just needed fall. I needed fall that day. And um, so I pulled out DMCs that uh, I think they're all DMCs, I'm pretty sure, that just looked close to the picture. That looked close. I wasn't trying to do anything creative. I was just taking what I had. I didn't want to go to the store. Um, I didn't want to wait for something to be shipped. I just pulled out what I had. But here's where I'm at on it. I'm doing it on Vintage Country Mocha 32 Count Lugana. And this is a scrap piece um from long ago vintage country uh, vintage country mocha this is um from from a height a, a time when uh, vintage country mocha was all the rage which it's still a beautiful color but of course it gets drowned out a little bit by all the beautiful colors all the beautiful fabrics out there and i am going to Finish it into a pin drum, um, and I'm going to loosely follow this. I want to. I want to. I want to do something like this um, pumpkin on the top, something like it. But um, I don't have, nor think I'm probably going to buy any orange velvet. So I'm going to do do something different, but loosely follow it. So hopefully, I will be able to get that finished by um the end of the month we'll see the end of september and then the other thing i want to start oh, is in the plastic let's see if i can, there we go is um his and hers thanksgiving stockings by the plum street samplers i think they think these are so cute obviously because they are so cute so uh I don't have I don't have the floss or the fabric picked out yet, but I've got enough I have enough of a stash that I'm not concerned. I will find it. I will find it when the time is right. Um. Okay, that was September. Moving on to October. <sighs> this is so bad. It, Am I really going to do, like, just, is this insane? I know it's not. There are people with hundreds of whips. And I have 13 whips. So it's fine. I can start whatever I want. <laughs> I can start whatever I want no matter what. But really, it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to, three three new starts. None of this was NYE um, 12 by 12. No, just this for, for October. October, I just want to start three things that I really want to do. Um, first one is uh, la da like home. Really want to stitch that. Really, really want to stitch that. The other one is la da witch witch. I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm not, it's, I'm just not a Halloween person. Holidays, I mean, I feel like it would be nice if I was. Um, more holidays, the better, but there's just nothing about it. It, 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 just, it just doesn't do anything for me. So I think I'm going to just, because I love her skirt. That's why I bought it. I, I love her skirt. There we go. So I think I'm just going to take the, I'm just going to not, I'm going to de-witch her by taking her hat off. And just giving her curly hair all the way around her head. She'll, she'll look just like me. 
And then I won't put 1031 on it. I'll put something else. But yeah, I'm just going to do that. I think so. The other one, Cricut Collection, Be Ye Thankful. There we go. There. Um, I'm going to start the three of those. Anybody else stitching these? Anything that you're stitching that I'm showing, let me know. On Instagram would be the easiest. I can follow you. Mm -hmm. Okay. November. Um, this one looks like I have, it looks like I have a new start in November as well. And I know I have a couple new starts in December, so no shame. Prairie Schooler, uh, what are these called? Winter samplers, winter samplers. So I'm working on the, this last one. Right here I'm working on this one right now and I know I want to do this middle one I'm so so on the last one so I may not do that one uh, but here is the uh, first one I showed you I'm stitching it on um, 36 count terracotta by I got to be Zweigart I have enough of it that I can do all three on it. But here's my start. And obviously, probably obviously too, I don't know, maybe not. It is not the called for floss. Oh, I left, the, I left my needle in the middle. Um, and I'll show you what I'm, what I'm using. This is more... Victoria Clayton Silks. Uh, so she was so kind to send me when I when she when I found out that she had um, uh, she was offering a silk conversion for Golden Delicious. Um, I was super excited, and I talked about it on my Instagram, and she said, "Well, she just offered to send me those colors. So beautiful." So beautiful. And so I, I have to, I can't just sit on them. I have to use them. So I'm, I'm little by little using those silks up. And whoops, on the floor. Hang on a second. Hang on. Oh. Okay. This one is called Last Kitsch Effort. This is brown but it's got really it's a it's super chocolatey very warm and great variegation you can see that and then this one is need you k-n-e-a-d and it kind of on this fabric it's a really weird shade because when I stitch it on the terracotta, it kind of, it'll at times lean silver and at times lean gold. And it's really pretty. And then the other one is All Agog from Victoria Clayton. Oh, doesn't want to focus on this tiny little thing. Oh, there you go. Eh, anyways, sort of a, oh, really, truly, truly my favorite green. It's just my favorite. Favorite shade of green. The other color I'm using for the pine cones is Gloriana Silks, the color being uh, milk chocolate. So I am using, yeah, I'm using those on my, um, I should have enough of everything to at least, at least do the two that I know I want to do of the Prairie Schoolers. And, um, I might do the third. It's nice. I know triptychs are great. Nice to have things in threes. But funny enough, I stop at two a lot. I often stop at two. I think I like, I might, I might like even numbers. 
the new start that I'm going to do is da, 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 Cranberry Christmas by the Artful Off. No, just Artful Offerings. Um, doesn't look like it's too intense. Might, might finish it. But I always say that. I always, I'm, I'm a very optimistic person when it comes to stitching. And like I said, I'm not the fastest stitcher. That's okay. Sorry. Forgot I wasn't supposed to zipper. Hey, December. Oh my gosh. 50 minutes. I'm not for 50 minutes. I'm going to work on here. It is the one I was talking about like half an hour ago is Hollyberry Farm. Um, Christmas at Hollyberry Farm. So this fabric is a self guide Ada. Now, what it is, is I got some Rustico, like oatmeal Rustico. It's, um, it's, it's a very speckled, um, very inexpensive Ada that is pretty, very pretty, but stiff. And it, um, bothered me too much. And so I ran it. I just, I threw it into the washing machine and then threw my dryer and it is, it is no longer stiff. It is no longer stiff. However, it's almost mm, too, too pliable. I don't know because like linen is pliable, but this is, um, this feels like a shop rag and it now looks like a shop rag which actually, I mean, I did that on purpose and I really like it. Uh, I used, um, I just splotched it with um, Rit Dye Cocoa and then I sprayed it in splotches with the Primitive Gatherings spray. So that's why you got the cool and the warm, the cool brown that kind of leans gray. That's the Rit Dye. And then the really warmer colors is the Primitive Gathering. Um, but what, it, it, um, it really denatured, if I, if that's the right word, it really denatured the Ada and, um, it's actually really kind of hard to see where the, where the holes are. And that's generally, that's what makes Ada a, a, a great is it it's, you can, you can see where the holes are. It's no, no problem. No, not with this. So am I, was I showing you this? I was showing you the front because my backs are horrible. I really hope I was showing you the front. Um, so anyways, um, working on it is not super, super pleasant, but the end result, the look of it, I, I love, love it. So I continue, continue on. It's going to look really good. All done. Great. Um... And then the start. Wait, did I have one start? I thought I had two starts. No, I just have one start. Good. Good. I only need one start. Scarlet House, sleigh rides and snowflakes. Let's see. Oh, let's see. It's two hands. So, um, again, just like uh, really all the new starts I've planned, I didn't pull out fabric or floss yet for it yet. Plus for it, uh, yeah, but I'll find it. I'll find it when the time comes. Okay, moving on. That's my year in stitching. Um, oh, okay. I want to mention one thing real quick. Um, if you go to my Instagram, I think that's the easiest way to get there. It's linked in other places. But if you go to my Instagram, Artsy Housewife, in the link tree, there's the link in my in my bio, you, look, you click the link, it goes to a link tree, and then there's um, a link for um, uh, my newsletter at being added to the freebie uh, newsletter. I'm gonna just apologize. No, no, apologize isn't the right word. Um, I guess I'll just I'll just say it. I am not probably gonna be great at doing it 
every month on the first. That was my initial plan. But some months, just not, it's just not going to happen. So um, I try and make sure there's at least like 12 new freebies a year. So um, it's in that way, it's sort of monthly, but I don't know. Maybe on the first, it may not be. Anyways, freebies, free, free cross-stitch patterns that I send out. Um, this is the one I just sent out. There's a little picture of it, a little mock-up. It's just a printed mock-up of it. Um, background color is awful green. Um, I designed it on a gray. So that tells me that my either my computer screen or my printer is... I don't know, taking creative liter liberties, but it, uh, it looks like this. So if you want to get this, just um, you can find, you can sign up for my newsletter. But you can also just, there's also in my link tree, a link to just see, just see it, just see it and download it. I don't care. Like sign up if you want to, I'd love, I'd love it, but you know, I don't want to, I'm not here to, I'm not here to hound anybody. So you can get that. The other thing I wanted to put out here because with all the plans of all the focus pieces and all the new starts, I, I have some other um, things that I kind of want to work on this year um, that I don't even know where to put it, the, the time for them, but uh, I will find it as I go. They're not in my plans, you know, technically. Um, I have some old, uh, I've, I've kind of been collecting, not, not in any serious way, but I love picking up old vintage cross-stitch patterns and cross-stitch pattern books. Um, and I never, oh, I, I, I mean, I'll mark the pages of the patterns that I really want to stitch, but do I get back to them? No, because I'm wooed by all the new stuff and I never get to them. But here's some older stuff that I've picked up um, off of some of its eBay, some of its thrift stores, just different places um, that are just vintage cool stuff. This is a um, leaflet from Me Plus You, E W E collection. I don't know, I've never heard of it, but I, I've never heard of it but I'm sure it's well known. I don't, what do I know? Uh, geese, geese, geese. It just brings me back to my childhood, geese, the eighties and the geese. And I think this, yeah, 1986, straight up. I was six, I was six. And this, I think this is fun. I want, I want to stitch some geese at, at some point. Um, in the same vein, this has some geese, also has some kitty cats and some chickens. This is Leisure Arts Country Folk Art. And I don't even, I don't even quite know. I think if I were to stitch, I love, I love this duck on the back. I love this duck. The chicken is super funky too. Um, and then there was a, I like that right there. You see the uh, pig in a blanket? I would stitch that pig in a blanket. I don't know. One of those. I love this one. Kitchen stitching. It's kitchen stitching. And everything you need, you know, for your kitchen. Um, that's not all. There's more in the back. Look at these. They're so cool. I don't know. There's 1979. This was published in 1979. My favorite. <coughs> my favorite is this one right here. Oh, gosh. I can't see. Right here. Look at this one. No words. No words necessary in this one. Carrots. Avocado. Hard-boiled egg. Salt shaker. And I think that's the one I'm going to stitch. I'm gonna hang it in my bedroom. No, I'm, I'm, I love that one though. I think I'm gonna stitch it. And the um, last one, 
that I've just pulled out. This is a Just Nan, a set of Just Nan um, seasonal band samplers. That's what they're called. And I love these band samplers. I don't know about the palette. I think that, especially in this one, this is Winter Romance. I think it's a little light. I think it could use a punch, a little bit of color. I don't even know if this is showing up on the camera. Can you see it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it's, you know, like a band sampler style. It's got um, lots of specialty stitches and it just looks like fun. So that's winter. Here's summer. Ah. And autumn. Autumn haze and a breath of spring. So maybe if I could get one of these done this year, that would be fun. I would enjoy that. Okay. The other th things that I wanted to work on already, I'm already an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's uh, these are non cross stitch. Um, pull these out. These are non cross stitch. So if you are not interested in non cross stitch, now would be the time to to bow out. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> um, I want to do a little bit of quilting. I want to do a little bit of small, like um, smaller wall hanging size quilting because I want to practice and I don't need to practice on a king size. I've done, I, that was my, my first quilt was a king size quilt. Um, my first quilt top was a king size quilt. I've never had it actually fully finished and quilted. And, and there's no way it's even close to a true square or rectangle. And there's no way. So, um, I think it was square, but I don't even want to take it somewhere now. <laughs> Have them try and deal with that. But I want to get better at it. And so I'm going to do small ones. So here's, here's some plans I've got. I won't start with that. I'll start with this. I've got some patterns that I really want to do. I want to do this pattern this year. This is Christmas Wishes by Coach House Designs. <laughs> um. And although it says Christmas wishes, it's not that Christmassy. It's actually really not that Christmassy. Um, I guess the, it is on snow. There's, there's, there's like there's snow, but I don't know. And it's not that Christmassy. It's just more winter, if anything. In the Pines Runner by, it says runner. I, I, it's I'll hang it on the wall. It's wall hanging. Buttermilk Basin. I'm going to do this one. My plan. I don't have the fabric put aside yet. Um, now this one, I'm definitely going to do. This is the one I, I, I want to work on this January and February. This is a full size quilt, but I'm not going to do the full size. So this is a, um, oh, what is it? Moda Morris Earthly Paradise? Is that the name of the quilt? I'm not really sure. Is that the name of the quilt? Morris Earthly Paradise? Or is that the name of the fabrics? Fabric line. I'm not sure. I don't know where I got this. So I don't, this is just, I've been collecting these things. This is why I like, this is why I'm pulling this stuff out is I've been collecting and dreaming for so many years. <laughs> it's the time to do now. How to do. But what I'm going to do is instead of this whole thing, which would be a 75 by 75 inch quilt, I'm actually going to just make it a nine patch. I'm just going to make nine patches, nine squares, whatever. And then that should make something around a three and a half by three and a half foot while hanging. I, I pulled out the fabrics for it. I wanted to go springy. And so if I can splay these fabrics. 
so that you can see them all. They are mostly art gallery uh, fabrics. Is that? Mm -hmm. Mostly art gallery fabrics. A couple of others, these bottom two aren't something else. Um, but I think it feels, I think this feels like a really springy uh, palette. Now that's, okay, those, those, those are the, all the squares made with these, but then you see these little berries. They'll, I'll have a couple of patches with berries. That's the berries. The berries will be red. Super bright. So that's my plan for that. And then I also am going to work on a little bit of embroidery. Where did I? Oh, I didn't bring it. I didn't bring it. I'm not going to go get it now. There's, um, yes, I did. Yep, here it is. This is East Moreland. I showed this to you in an old uh, floss tube as well. East Moreland by Kathy Schmitz. This is a black and white printed cover because um, I bought the PDF. But the colors are really muted. They're, they're mostly like, they're grays and beiges and stuff, mostly. Um, but you can find it on her Etsy shop. I'd done, oh, just a tiny, 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 tiny bit more since last time you saw it. I'll go ahead and show it because I am going to work on this this year. I'll finish it this year. I'm going to finish it this year. There's the whole thing, all the houses. And the houses at the top, they're just based. They're just lightly based on. They're not, there's no stitching. These have been actually worked on stitched. I've got some trees in the bottom. I'm, I'm working on these. I've got the bottom row done, I do believe. And then the, the second row up, I'm just, I'm currently working on. Um, so I'm going to work on this this year, get it done. And I also have another Kathy Schmitz embroidery butterfly. Oh, it says May. Maybe I should do it in May. So there's the pattern that I've uh, I've purchased over here. You can see um, if you buy all the patterns, um, there's it looks like there's one for every month, and then you can put them into a large quilt. I don't plan on doing that though. I'm just going to do this one, and there's another one in here that says nest. It has a little bird in it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy that one too. That might I don't know. From there, I don't know. I'm going to work on this this year um, as sort of practicing my embroidery. I want to practice my embroidery. also want to practice punch needle because I did my first punch needle um, that last year, you know, 2023, um, like the end of 2023, October, I don't know, September, something like that. And I did it, I did it, I did a little bit of one. I did like a little mini, like little thing that I just had made up. Um, but I need to, I need to work on it. I need to practice it. So I did buy some patterns um, that I'm going to do this year. I'm going to do this one. This is um, Not Forgotten Farms. Um, that's the cover, but since that is so hard to see because I should have printed it landscape, and not portrait. I went ahead and just printed big blown up picture of what it is. Not forgotten farm plenty. And um, yeah, so I'm going to work on this one. I want to, I mean, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to finish this one. Make it. Do that. I'm also going to do this one. This is Teresa Kogut. No, I'm not a Halloween person, but I'm just going to cut it off. I'm just gonna cut it off like that. And then it'll just be because I love pumpkins. They're not, I mean, that's just that just says October. I'm also, this is the this one I'm really excited about. This one's big though. I feel like I shouldn't start with this one. I mean, big in comparison. 
Um, carriage house samplings spot the horse. So just like the cross stitch, but this one is a rug for your wall. So cool. I love it when I do that one. Um, and then I'm also going to work on, um, what do you call this? Wool applique. Wool applique. I think that looks, I love the look of wool applique. I love it. So I want to work on it, get better at it. First one I'm going to start with, all right, Penny Lane Primitives Peekaboo Kitty. You're like, really? Uh, you didn't like Halloween. This isn't Halloween. It's just a cat. It's just a cat and a pumpkin. I don't know. Is that showing up? I think that's showing up. I think that's super pretty. So I'm going to do that. And Primitive Gatherings Redware Crow Table Mat. That's actually not the most awesome picture. It'd be probably better if you could see it like straight on, but it's it's really cute. It's really cute. Yep. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna quilt. I'm gonna embroider. I'm going to punch needle. I'm gonna applique. I'm gonna cross stitch. I'm gonna knit. Oh, before I go, I'll show you what I've been working on for knitting. Um, okay, I don't have a picture. I have a pattern. I don't have a picture that I can show you of what this would will look like when it's done. It's a shawl, it's a lace shawl, and I've already gotten the first repeats or the first. I'm going into the second repeat now, so you know, you can kind of see where, where we're headed. Um, but this, oh, let's wait, I'm gonna show you the front. Show the front. Does that show very well? Can you see? Can you see that? I don't know. That's my shawl. I like it. It's this left. This um. This is the yarn, and it's in the color leopard. Leopard. Uh, kind of barely pink, kind of barely pink, maybe more of a tan, but a little bit of pink. It even has some like really pink mm, blot blotches that are really pretty. I'm working on that too. I'm also going to knit this year. Oh, and I need to knit socks. I've never knit a full pair of socks. I sit, I knit a sock once. I did knit a full pair of slippers. They're like sock, sock slippers. They're knit with bulky weight yarn. So it doesn't feel like the same thing. So I want to do that this year. I want to finish a full pair of socks. Just one, one pair of socks. Um, that's it. That's all I've got. Uh, if, um, if you want to take advantage of the one year anniversary sale, Etsy store, January 5th through the 7th. And, um, sign up for my newsletter if you want some freebie cross stitch patterns as as i as i get them out um so do that that's it that's it okay just gonna say goodbye okay have a good day everyone have fun bye